As Rick Wesley's team continues its push for a postseason berth, it does so with a squad quarterback by Miles Miller. The senior from Grand Rapids who's emerging this year is one of the top players in the Great Lakes Conference after scoring a total of 50 points recently in a pair of road games at Ashland and Tiffin. Yeah, Miles really had an outstanding week, uh, probably the best week of his career. Hopefully uh, there's several more of those weeks to come. He really scored the ball well. Obviously uh, his numbers would show you that, but I just thought his leadership uh, uh, was really outstanding. In particular, when you go on the road, you get in those tough environments, games on the line. You know, it's, 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 people are looking for somebody to step up, and uh, he really took that on, and I think our guys really benefited from his strength and his confidence. I guess I was just finding my shots, but I, I really didn't realize what I was doing until after the game. My coach nudged me after, I think it was the Tiffin game, was like, hey, that's, that's 50 points in one weekend. So I, and, and while, while in the game, I was just kind of in the zone, just focusing on winning. Miller has seen his share of ups and downs at Grand Valley, but in his final year has finally found the right balance in his roles as the team's primary ball handler and one of its top scoring threats. In his early basketball days, he used speed to get to the basket, but upon reaching college, he realized a 5'8 guard wasn't going to dominate at the rim. So Miles went into the gym to work on a jump shot that's made him a nightmare for opposing defenses. We worked on my shot from, from uh, the time I walked in the, in, in the Grand Valley until now, and I've, I'm more of an outside threat, but my mid-range pull-up has always been a threat from high school. I think the biggest different, difference was in high school, I could kind of get all the way to the basket. There weren't a lot of shot blockers, and now I'm playing against much, much bigger opponents and a lot more shot blockers, so I really have to rely heavily on my pull-up jumper, my floaters, and my three-point shot. Yeah, I think he's always been a, uh, you know, he's always had a, a knack to score, even for a small player. I think at, at times early in his career, he's probably tried to score too much. And, uh, you know, he's gone back and forth from being uh, a facilitator to a scorer. And now he, as a senior, he's kind of gotten to that point where he can um, let the game come to him. And, and so uh, he's making good decisions. He's organizing us. He's running our offense. But again, when, should the situation arise that we need that scoring, uh, he, he has that ability to step up and, and knock in shots for us. So um, we're getting into the meat of our conference now, tougher games ahead. So it'll be a challenge, but hopefully he can continue uh, to play in the way that he did last week. The modern college game has changed since the inclusion of the shot clock and the value of a point guard has increased dramatically. Because of his elusiveness, Miller is usually the first Laker to touch the ball after a change of possession, as well as the player who has it when the shot clock is about to expire. Yeah, that's always probably been his number one uh, asset, his, his ability to get his own shot. And particularly, like you say, as a point guard, late in the shot clock, things are breaking down. You don't have time to run a set or to run a, a you know particular uh, action. He can just get the ball and start dribbling. And next thing you know, uh, he's got that really good pull-up jump shot. Shot. So that's really, um, you know, been his calling card since the day he got here. And now playing more minutes, being on the floor more often, it comes up more and more. As a result of greater offensive efficiency, the Lakers have become a team that's put its offensive woes behind it after a slow start. And as Miller's talents have blossomed, he's been heartened by the way his team's confidence has grown. I've said this in a couple of other interviews now, I think it's uh, confidence and conditioning. We're seeing the ball go through the net a lot more. I think we've scored 80 points, I think, in our last, I think, five or seven games. Uh, so our shooters are really seeing the ball go through the net and it's building confidence. And then on top of that, we're really, we're really in great condition and that kind of pushes us past teams down the stretch and we still have fresh legs to knock those shots down. So that's been key for us. It's still an uphill climb for Grand Valley as it tries to finish with a winning season amid a stretch of January games at home against Lake Superior, Ferris, and Purdue Northwest. Games that will likely show Wesley's team how much progress it had made in winning six of seven in a 30-day span before that. And if the Lakers are able to continue their upward trend, it'll almost certainly be due to the play of Miles Miller, who's taken the reins in his final season in Allendale to become a player of distinction in Division II basketball. For the Grand Valley State Sports Report, I'm Tom Cleary.